You get your wife's permission? No. But you can say goodbye to your children, say goodbye to your family, say goodbye to everything you hold dear. Say, right. kiss them goodbye because it's on the way out. Right. You don't have to get your wife's permission, according to Torah. You can do whatever you want. You're the man. But you have to count the cost. What man builds a building and doesn't first count the cost, lest he cannot finish and others mock him to scorn? Exactly. Wow. If you're going to engage in patriarchal marriage, you better finish the construction. You better finish the building. Because the enemy is just waiting to raise up waiting. those who are going to laugh you to scorn. Waiting. And your memory will not be of one of righteous Eob. It will be as one who began to build but couldn't finish. finish. He, see, he went to battle with 10,000 troops against someone who came at him with 30,000 troops. He didn't count the cost. I've counted the cost. Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing the devil can take away from me. You know why? Because I'm invincible. All right. You're invincible. In the will of Yahweh, you are invincible. Outside the will of Yahweh, you're vulnerable. Completely vulnerable. So the question is not monogamy or plural marriage. Both are kosher. The question is, which is the place of safety for me and for my family? It could be either one. But it can't be mandated by men. Amen. It has to be mandated yes, it by the spirit of prophecy. Amen. Amen. Sister Reina, Baruch Hashem. Amen. Yahweh.